and let's get this relief effort going right away. We understand what it's like to go through the aftermath of a hurricane. Mayor Ortis and I joined in this effort to help our neighbors in the Northeast because this is where government can really make a difference for the people. We can make a change and we can make improvements for those who need it so badly. I mean, it's so difficult here when we have hurricanes and and we have no electricity or we have no, no refrigerators or we have no gas. But can you imagine that compounded with the cold and the snow? That just makes it, I think, the situation so much more difficult. And so many homes just burnt down. You know, much like when Hurricane Andrew, the homes were burnt away. And we remember how we felt about that devastation. So because we remember that and we can empathize, Mayor Ortis and I thought it was incredibly important to do this effort together. So please give generously. Thank you. Last week, right after the storm, President Nutter and the U.S. Conference of Mayors leadership all got on a conference call to make sure we we're on the same page. And repeatedly, the American Red Cross was talked about and uh, used for that organization. As you know, this has been terrible. We still have like 5,800 um, volunteers and disaster workers in the area helping out. Most of them are volunteers. We've served over 5 million meals, so your help is still much needed, and there's going to be more uh, weeks to come when people are going to stay at sh have to stay at shelters. So in order to donate to the Red Cross, which we would appreciate, uh, please visit our website at redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. Miramar and Pembroke Pines are members of the Pembroke Pines Ch Miramar Chamber of Commerce, and many of them in our, our audience here tonight. So I, today, so I wanted to introduce Robert Gold to the Executive Director, so see how we can partner with our business community as well. We want you to give your money to the American Red Cross. However, as Floridians, most of you have already stored hurricane relief packages in your house. You have food, you have blankets, you have the things that you need. We didn't need them this year. What we're asking you is, is to drop them off at area businesses, and we will have a list on our website of area businesses that you can drop non perishable goods and things that we utilize in hurricanes to take up to, to New Jersey. It's an endeavor that we're looking for. Please look at our website at uh, miramarpemberkpines.org, and you'll have information on the various locations that you'll be able to drop that off. And we've already partnered with our uh, company, GTS Transportation, to make sure the semi takes that inf all that uh, food and goods up to New Jersey in a relatively uh, short amount of time. And I want to reach out and thank the uh, residents of Miramar for uh, being great neighbors, especially with this uh, important cause of uh, Hurricane Sandy and making sure that all Americans are um, get the resources that they need, get the money that they need, get the uh, food and, uh, and clothing that they need. We know uh, from South Florida how devastating uh, a storm can be. And I want to thank uh, Mayor Mosley. I want to thank the Miramar Commission uh, for joining us and being great partners with the Miramar uh, Pembroke Pines Chamber of Commerce to do the right thing, to take care of everyone. And once again, thank you for your support. We're going to send that with the chamber and the cities. We'll organize that. We'll have drop sites. We'll get them up with trucks. The president of the uh, executive director of the chamber said we're going to have trucks um, running them up there. We get airplanes. It's ever quickly needed. We're going to try to do. We'll organize that quickly. We, as the mayors, are working on the Red Cross effort. Um, we are working with the chamber to provide goods, but we also know by living in Florida we can provide logistical services. But we can provide that expertise, and that's what we plan on doing. Can't emphasize enough the importance of donating as generously as you can. We've all been through the pain. When we see on the news what's going on, people still do not have power. You know, they've got a Northeasterner after that. It's cold. Please be generous as you can. 